let's keep going. See what we can find. Oh, I knew there was going to be something here. I knew somebody was going to be waiting. Can I? I can't sneak up behind you. Let's see what we do have behind this door. We do have a desk. I don't think I can read anything on it, but it's always worth a check. Down here, though. Oh, nothing here either. Down here we can find a chest. In here we can find update file 10. Since it's probably going to be a while since we get another save point, I'm going to go ahead and look at it now. Shouldn't take too long. They haven't been taking too long lately. Uh, we do have just weapons today, up to 97% on weapons already. We do have ECM, an electronics jamming system using electromagnetic waves. Short for Electronic Countermeasures, a system designed to interfere with an enemy fleet's electronic devices. An ECM sends out electromagnetic waves that jam enemy radars and other electronic devices, lowering their ability to function or rendering them useless. Anything else? We do have Auto Tech, we've seen that since the first game. The generic term for an autonomous mobile combat weapon that does not require a pilot. We call them drones now. Uh, because it's unmanned, it is not limited by G-force constraints, and its mobility and speed are greater than that of a manned unit. Its combat patterns are very simple, however, and its actions are easily predictable, making it no great threat to a manned unit under the control of a seasoned pilot. It should be, though. Target Drone! Unmanned craft treated as enemy units within combat simulations. Nowadays, it is rare to train using actual physical combat. Mock combat in a combat simulation program running within the UMN is more common. Targets emulating enemy, enemy, enemy units within these programs are called Target Drones. Yes, they're, they're training drones. Uh, then we have Point Man, a group that looks... Wait, what? A group that looks into the geography and conditions within virtual space? Okay. When an incident or accident occurs within virtual space, this group leads the investigation by gathering information regarding conditions within virtual space or the enemy situation. I thought we were talking about, like, the front person in an air battle. Whatever. They work efficiently to solve the case by finding their enemy as quickly as possible and relaying information regarding the enemy's position to primary allied forces. Their reconnaissance, they're out front. Then we have the macrophage, a program that recognizes trespassers automatically and expels them from virtual space. Destruction by this program implies that the invader's mind is being destroyed as well. It has been confirmed that the real-world mental failure of the trespasser occurs when this takes place. The program's name is taken from the macrophage cell that ingests bacteria which have entered a human body. They just, they kick somebody out and essentially kill him for trespassing and virtual space. All right, that's a thing. So that's update file 10. Told you it wouldn't take long. And over here we can find, oh, gin swimsuit. Uh, just like the other swimsuits, I will not be using it in battle. <laughs> not unless I'm taunting, which could happen at some point. He's still in the haze robe. Uh, yeah, no vitality, no ether defense. It does raise agility by five, which is not much. Even this early on, we're at 33, up by 5, but lowering my vitality by 10 already isn't worth it, you know? Increases luck by 30, I guess that's something. Special armor that changes the character model, we will, you know, of course, show those off at some point. At some point, we will show all those off. Hey, how you doing, buddy? As a result of that battle, we've had a few things happen. Number one... I took Shiona out of the party. Just kind of decided, hey, you know, it's time. We will take her out. She has served her purpose. Other people now know how to steal, which was really the reason that I had her in the party for so long. Uh, but Momo actually learned something. She learned a new special attack, which is Guilty Rain, a medium lightning ether attack that hits everybody. Once again, everybody. That is important. I'll be trying to use that at some point. So now I have the tanky slow party all together. Or at least that's how it was in the second game. Hopefully, this works out well for me. Oh, did I actually need to hit, hit that? I was hoping it would say something. Move! Why not? So we can just keep on heading down. 
and destroy more things. Doesn't look like anything dropped. I always have to go in and check anyway, just in case. I think. Yeah, we can just head in here. I've been spotted. Be on guard. Let's see what we can find in here. Looks kind of like a uh, classroom here, but nothing apparently important on the screen. In here, though, we can find an ES disc, a D frame Scary one. I don't think they'll let me look at that still. Yeah, unfortunately, they will All still not really let me look at that. We'll just head out the door, well, the same door that we came in, and, well, it'll lead us to this guy. Oh, he's asleep. Open the door, though. Doesn't wake him up. I thought it would. Oh, uh, blowing this stuff up has to wake him up. I know you can wake him up. I know you kind of have to wake him up. What's that sound? And there we go. I knew we were going to wake him up sometime. In what I destroyed back here, we can get a nano repair M. Definitely worth the trouble. Definitely worth one fight to get all this. Ether pack M nullifier. And are you not going to let me destroy that Security anymore? I thought they'd let me target that All for a second and then it went away. And, the and then I got off. sad. Maybe if I leave and come back, they'll give me that option again. I'll be right back. Nope, doesn't look like it. Hopefully it wasn't anything good. I believe I got all the items that are in here, though. I believe that I got all those. All right, I want to sneak up behind you. You're important. Damn it! Don't worry, I'll protect you. Just in case I missed one, the items that you can get in there: med kit M, nano repair M, ether pack M, nullifier, and 500 gold. I'm pretty sure I got all of those, but. I'm suddenly paranoid that I missed one of them. All right, we can just head out here. And I believe we want to head north, so I want to see what's south. South, we can find a revive L. Holy crap, this is going to be so good that I probably never use it. It's definitely too good to use. Revive and recover all HP. Yeah. Not going to happen. Not for a long time. Okay, go that way. I keep on wanting the shiny things to talk to me, but they rarely do. Oh, this thing. All right, now I believe these I can just destroy. I don't believe there's anything bad that'll happen with this. 200 gold out of that. And that is it. All right, here we do have a puzzle. This is the Battle Pod Ammunition Receiving System, says the Container Receiving System. You can view an explanation of the containers or initiate container, re container reposition. In other words, reset. What would you like to do? Uh, just explain it to me, I guess. The system allows for flexible movement across a lattice of rails. The containers currently contain explosive materials. Subjecting the containers to heavy shocks may cause nearby containers to move onto the rails. Yeah. This one is where things get a little weird. Okay, so the one that we want to hit up first is this one. It's laid out in a grid, which makes it a little bit easier, but I want to hit this one. Then, no, I want to hit this one here. It gets so weird. All right, then this one here. And this one. And let me make sure, yes, this one, and this one, which goes all the way over there. Now I want to blow this one up first, and that will explode away the wall, since apparently I wasn't strong enough to do that on my own. And over here we can get a D-nullify guard, which is for ESs, so we can't really look at it just yet. And they dropped something here. Don't miss that. It opened the way forward, but we get 50,000 gold for what I just did. Did you catch that? 50,000. That gives me 54,000 total. Seriously, that's a lot of money right now. But 
I guess what's more important is that it led us forward. I guess. But seriously. 50,000 gold. Suddenly I'm rich. I'll spend it all somehow. Not on Matthews. Hmm? What's that? I don't know. The camera's not really showing me anything. I don't care about you obsessing over that doll of your daughter. Hey, it's Sellers. Do you guys know who that is? By you guys, I mean the party. Not, like, you guys, the audience. Does the party know who Sellers is? I mean, we only have, like, a vague idea so far of Sellers. But I can't have you forgetting the real objective. Who are you talking to? Is it Joachim? The operation has already begun. I'm pretty sure that's Joachim. The operation has indeed begun. You guys should probably get out of here. Well, Joachim, you can stay. But Sellers should probably go. You and Winnicott formulated it. How was Winnicott behind all this? How? I don't see why you need me. We're framing you. I'm going to take over the management of this experiment. If you've lost your nerves. Do as you wish. It's no longer my concern. He's not quite the madman that was pictured for us in the first game, is he? Is that Yoaki, Ms. Rahi? Gian, do you talk to the rest of the party? Like, at all? Daddy. Momo! Damn it, Momo! You look just like his dead daughter! He designed you that way. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Who are you? This isn't a place for children. So of course, Yoki Mizrahi doesn't necessarily recognize her up front. You know, now that you mention it, you're the spitting image of my daughter, and also the thing that I've been working on for months. Except you have a beret now. <laughs> you're not very good at lying, young lady. Why don't you have your scepter anymore? I gave you a scepter. Do you think you could give me a hand? What? Oh, okay. Maybe he did recognize her up front. But then he's way too accepting of all this. What kind of research are you doing, Professor? Hmm? Actually, I'm making a realian like you. Okay, totally not recognizing her, but he does recognize that she is a realian. So they were making young girl realians before Joachim did it? Because I thought he kind of started that trend. What? Uh, I'm not a... I'm a prototype. You don't have to hide it. I can tell. I lost my daughter to illness. I thought that if I could retrieve her consciousness, I might be able to return her to life. So I studied the UMN, the Zohar, and Udu for that purpose. Okay, can I look at your research real quick? Reviving the consciousness of the dead? Or we could talk about that aspect of it. Yes. The Unis Mundus Network, just as its name implies. Do you really go with Mundus? Okay, why not? Unis Mundus. That way it kind of rhymes. Is a collective subconscious that's existed since the moment the universe was born. Wait, the UMN was always there? It wasn't constructed? It's a fundamental part of nature. Through my research of the Zohar, I discovered the existence of what appears to be human consciousness within the UMN. Are you talking about what I think you're talking about? Consciousnesses are born from the UMN and they return to the UMN. 
the thing that like became a hollow deck for us if i could discover that process i could fulfill my wish do you know how many people you've killed in the process but my daughter's consciousness has disappeared the new consciousness which is growing is not hers no it's yours momo But I think that's all right. This child will surely become the hope of all realians. I guess that's one way to put it, sure. Momo is the hope of all realians. That hope may become a way to stop the looming threat of the expansion of the universe. Wait, what? The looming threat of the expansion of the universe? Are we talking about heat death here? Because that's not supposed to happen for... Billions and billions of years. Our second daughter. I'm sure Sakura would have wanted that. It, it's Sakura. Not Sakura. Whatever. Her name was Sakura? Oh, I was about to say, Momo, you know this. Oh, you're playing dumb. Okay, yes. Yes. My wife and I came up with the name together. She was a cute child just like you. I would hope that your wife and you came up with the name together and you just didn't thrust it on your daughter without your wife's permission. This world must continue to exist for you and others. Once again, what's the big threat here? I must stop them. Do you know about the Gnosis? Is he talking about the Gnosis? I think he's talking about the Gnosis. Oh, I'm sorry for making you listen to the ramblings of an old man. No, seriously. I have further questions. Now go. I'm sure there are people worried about you. Daddy! How did he not recognize her? Like, by this point, Momo's gotta be really close to finished. Like the other Momo. Momo, are you okay? How did he not recognize her? Did she change that much from the first game? I talked with Daddy. He called me his second daughter. He said he's going to protect the world for us. I... Yeah, I'm happy for you, Momo. I, I just wanted to point out that that's the original Zohar there. Attention! Nothing. Can I look at anything here? Come on, there's got to be something useful in all this. Okay, these apparently are not holograms. There, there's nothing for me to look at here. Security Technology from 14 years ago is too ancient all for anybody in our party to be able to use it. Not like these are Apple IIs. Come on, somebody knows how to work this. Hell, I might be able to work in Apple II, and I haven't used one since I was in school. <sighs> Alright, we were going right, weren't we? We'll just keep on going right. So Momo did get to see her father. Very confused as to why Yoki did not recognize his project that he's currently working on when it walked in on him, but... That's neither here nor there, I guess. Let's keep going and hopefully it will make more sense later and it'll turn out that Joachim is a smart person and it doesn't turn out that like the explanation was that like he's too close to the project. Can I not? I cannot escape him. He cannot find me, but I, I can't sneak up on him anymore. 